Hey, today we are going to learn how to find out which are the newly added items in an observable array. For this example, we have an animation. We have a class here called new task, and that class triggers an animation. We want to add that class to all of the new items on the page so that when I add a new task, I can see that task animated into the page. So first, let's evaluate what we have. We have a list of cards, and when we are clicking on the plus button, we are adding a new card. Right now, I'm not showing any animation because I don't know which card is the new one when I'm adding them on the screen. We are going to add the new task class to the new items on the screen, and this class is going to trigger an animation. The animation is called slide in, and the animation is going to take the item, it's going to be all the way to the right, and it's going through one second to put it in the original position. And in the HTML, we are displaying the list of cards. Uh, these cards can come from anywhere, let's say in this case, a uh, backend API, a service you have. And for this example, I am using a behavior subject just to simulate that service, to not create the service entirely. And I'm saying, this is the source. These are the tasks that I'm going to display on a, on a screen from the behavior subject. And when you click confirm, I'm only adding a new item to that behavior subject. So when I click the plus button, you can see that I can add it here on the screen. Now what I want to do is to create a separate observable called task list. This task list is going to listen in on the changes on the task observable. And we are going to do a couple of things here. First, I'm going to start with the start with operator to ensure that we have a value to emit in the beginning. And then I'm going to chain in the pairwise operator. This is going to emit both the previous and the new value of the observable. Now I'm going to operate on those two values. I have both the previous tasks being emitted and the new task being emitted. And what I want to return is the new list of tasks. I don't want to make any changes there, but I don't really need the full previous list of tasks. In reality, I only care about their ID because I want to compare them. Once we have that, I'm going to do another map. And here I'm going to take both the new tasks and the previous set ID. And I'm going to iterate on the new tasks because I am looking to modify them. What I want to do is to check if a task existed in the past, nothing happened, but if the value doesn't exist, it means that it is a new task. And I want to add a new property called, I don't know, was added. This is just going to be a Boolean that says true if the task is new. Now we're going to test to see if this works. One easy way to do it would be to log everything to the console. And we can see that we have the three tasks here and all of them have the was added false. But if I add a new task, we see that now we have four values and the first one has the was added true because this is a new task being added. Now that we are able to know which tasks were added in the screen, then we can go back here and instead of reading from the tasks, we are going to read from the task list that we created and we are going to add a class. We're going to say ng class. And if you don't remember, the name of our, ta of our class was new task. And we are going to say add the new task class if item dot was added. So if the item has the property was added and it's a true value, then we are going to add the class. 
And you can see that when I click plus, it's now adding the animation.